Ooh, this is what they've been waiting for. Hey, y'all. What's up, y'all? Come on. Y'all know y'all want to be here. Y'all know y'all want to be here. Y'all know what time it is. Mm-hmm. Ooh. It's going to be something else. That's it. Go ahead. Thank you for joining us this evening. Oh, we got some questions. They juicy too. Just waiting for a couple of y'all. Who is that? Me. Marvin. Mm-hmm. Hey, Marvin. What's going on? Oh God, guys, listen. Oh, congratulations to Anthony Lomax. He got married today. I saw your wedding on the video, and it was. I was crying. Out of one eye, because this eye right here is jacked up right now. I got um, some type of um, sty or something. And so, um, I ain't taking off my glasses. Well, y'all can't see my eyes anyway, so I can take my glasses off. Do I look crazy? No. Oh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I might as well take my glasses off because I can't see no damn how. You got any shout out? Hey y'all, everybody that's popping in and out. Yes, don't go nowhere. Don't be popping in and out. Don't be popping in and out. Somebody right there, what's that? Do you want to tag me in the video? Oh, okay. Go on here, yeah, tag or something. Do you want to tag you, me? Yeah. But yeah, um... Okay, you We got some good questions. Yeah. Because I want to see my show. Y'all know my show is on Yeah, right y'all see him looking over there. If y'all see him looking in the camera, he looking at himself. I'm telling you, he looking at nothing, nothing else but himself. That's just the person that he what? is. And I don't like him as a person. Burr. Anyway, if you see him looking over there, that's because American Horror Story is on. And he's trying to look over there to see what's going on. I need to see my show. Hey, Brian. Mm -hmm. Empire was good tonight. Kind of, sort of. It was. I'm kind of over it. I'm over it. like, you know what? I, I'm trying not to be over it. Um, but I like Star. Star was good. Yeah, Star is getting kind of juicy because um, Queen Latifah and Brandy, who play sisters on there, are going at it. They get ready to go at it again. And um, so, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that because Brandy is a good actress. To me, Brandy is a good actress. She's always been a good actress. And Queen Latifah, too. But to see Brandy back doing her craft is, like, it's nice. It's refreshing again. Yeah, I see a lot of these big celebs, they doing their thing now. Like, Escape, y'all right. better, better do it. Escape, y'all better do it. Escape, Escape is doing it. Y'all hear me? They sound just like they sounded back in the day. And they looked, oh my God, as far as looks, oh my God, they are beautiful. They're just beautiful women. Hey, Leslie. They were beautiful back then, but they're beautiful women. Oh God, they're beautiful women. And they're in our age bracket. Mm. You do know that this is cute and able to can. Yeah, right? I know, but I'm just going over some things. Yeah, don't just be, don't, don't, I'm, sure I'm, just, I'm just trying to make some conversation here. That's all. What people saying, I can't see y'all. Say hi to Leslie. My eyes jacked up. He beat me when y'all ain't here. If I beat him, he'd be blind. <laughs> See? So the first question tonight is... I'll just go right on with the questions. Forget about what I got to say. Yes, because my show is on. Whatever. Okay, go ahead. First question is, hey guys, what type of, type of advice can you give me for during the holidays with my family that does not accept my lifestyle... I tend to stay away from my family because I don't want to deal with the backlash during the holidays because it vexes my spirit. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, um, you're going to have to accept some things. If you, you, you're going to have to accept some things. Um, you, well, first you're going to have to um, accept the fact that um, your family may or may not ever come around 
And if they don't, then you have to start creating traditions for yourself. What happened? You have to. They do compose. Well, yeah, you have to start creating traditions for yourself. I.e., um, if you're in a relationship with somebody, you might want to spend Christmas and holidays with them. Um, or create your own tradition. Have Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner at your house with your friends. Um, I'm not saying that you should just turn your back on your family completely. Um, but in the meantime, while they come around, why should you stop your life? Why should you stop your happiness? Um, Brian said, put your damn glasses on. I can't. Why? Why I got to put my glasses on? Anyway. Well. Cousin Brian Daly. Was you finished? Um, you no, finish? I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. But anyway. Um, yeah. Um, this is who you are. Stop fighting people about it. And accept it. And create your own traditions. I'm hey, done. Samira. I'm done. So she wanted to get but you no I say answer. This. If your family don't grasp it by now, your best family is your cho- the chosen, the family you pick for yourself, which i.e. is your friends. Because just because they're your family, yeah, I understand you want to be around them and you want to hang out with them for Christmas and New Year's and stuff like that. But guess what? Fuck them. If they don't adjust, fuck them. Who wants to be around people that are shunned? I mean, I mean, who wants to be around people that shun them? That don't accept? I don't know. Uh-uh. Because nothing you do is going to make them change their minds. Right. And then you're going to just be uncomfortable. And then what happens if you meet somebody that you want to be with and you take them over there? Yeah. Then both of y'all are going to be... It's just a no-win situation. Yeah, why be miserable? I don't want to be around people that, that, that don't rock with me. Even if it is my family. It'd be hard. It'd be hard. It'd be hard for me. You know, I'm glad I don't have that issue. But it would be hard for me to not be around my family because they didn't accept me for who I was. I did that all of my life. I refuse to do it today. Right. You can't pick your family, but you can pick your friends. Yeah. That can become... Your new family, exactly. Yeah, I say the ones that come around, come around. If the the ones that don't come around, what do they mean? What do they actually mean to you? They mean that much to you that you will put your life on hold or be miserable and sad because they're not around? You still love them. Regardless whether you're around them or not, you still love them. That's your family. Do your own thing and live your life for you. Yeah, that's your family. If they come around, they come around. And they'll come around, you know. A majority of the issues that um, we as um, um, gay men have is um, we allow what others think to drive our lives. I know I did it for I did it for a long time, for a long time, and um, we we allow we allow what people the people that are against us to drive our lives, and so. We tiptoe around them and try not to do things that they, they, they may feel, may or may not feel disrespectful. And, you know, um, it's, that's not an easy life. And you know what? This is a perfect conversation because I was watching um, Funky Dineva on YouTube. <clears throat> and he was talking about how he didn't like to be around guys that are DL or guys that are not in the closet and um, some of the reasonings that he gave for that is the very thing that this whoever this person is is probably feeling um, because uh, it's not easy coming out to your family it's not easy for families to accept it I myself had to look at it from both sides of the spectrum. Um, well, I ain't know both sides of the spectrum. This is my motherfucking life, and I'm going to live it the way I see fit, feel fit, 
and whoever don't like it can kick motherfucking rocks. It's yeah, just that, that well, simple. Well, I mean, I, 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 I feel you on that too, but at the same time, you also have to say to yourself this. Um, hey, you got you to gotta, you gotta understand how they feel. I don't care how they feel. You don't it's have to care. You don't have, have to have care. No, you don't have to care. I'm not saying that you have to care about it, but you have to look at it as if they looked at it the same way they look at it. You know what it is? Our parents, if those of you that are parents, you know what I'm talking about. Our parents have certain dreams and hopes for our lives and and, and, and they want to 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 guide our walk in life because they want us to be the best or they don't want us to be this or they want they don't want us to be that. You know, because because of the circumstances that may or may not happen. Um and um so know that you know it's it's not easy to accept. I'm not saying that that, that you should you should um and, and that's my very re- my, that's my very reason for saying what I'm saying. You don't have to be tiptoeing around people and I ooh. You know? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not doing it no more. You either like me or you don't. If you don't like me, hey. As my family, you either love me or you or you don't. You either accept me or you don't. It doesn't matter to me. But then they go on to your next question or did you have something else? To say? <laughs> Why are you laughing, Brian? <laughs> My eye is so jacked the next up. Question, it's jacked up. I got a style. Ooh, it's a style. Nobody laughing at There's no eye. Brian said, put your glasses on. Put your glasses on. I don't want to put my glasses on because of the glare. Y'all don't understand. I can't see. Can't I can't see now for real. The next question is Do you believe that people are really bisexual or is it an excuse for people to do whatever they want? Um, I believe people can be bisexual. I don't understand the whole thing of it all. I don't. I just really don't. I don't understand the whole thing of it all being bisexual. You either are um, in relationship with a man or you're in relationship with a woman. Now, being single and dating and and smashing and all that other stuff that's something totally different that's bisexual you could do that all day but I mean what does it say if you marry a woman but you like men so I mean it's a culture I guess it's a culture for everything do I believe people are bisexual yes do I believe it's an excuse for them to do whatever no no. The only time I have a problem with bisexual people is when they tell me that they'll only have sex with the same sex, but they'll only date the opposite sex. Because to me, at that point, then I feel like you're just using it as a crutch or an excuse. Yeah, that ain't cool. That's what I'm gay. talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's and what then in the real world, you want to appear straight. So for that part of being bisexual. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't believe it. But can a person be bisexual? Yeah. I can't say I don't believe it because I'm like, okay, if that's what they do, that's what they do. That's what they do. That's what people do. Who cares? Who cares? I just don't like, I'm, 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 I don't like labels when it comes to sexuality and stuff like that because nowadays, nowadays, for real, for real, you know what I'm saying. It's like reality is what it is. Um, most of these kids talk about being sexually fluid, whatever the fuck, that whatever is. that is. Um, and and just I'm just going to I'm going to rotate to whatever. I'm going to it's going to be organic. I'm not a he or a she. I'm a tree. Yeah, it's not easy being green. <laughs> so I mean, that's it's a culture. I just think it's a cult. It's a culture for everything these days. 
get in where you fit in or, you know, um, but, you know, j just be that. Don't be using people. As, I mean, I just, I don't, like, I'm like you. How could you, well, I'm, like I said, it's a culture for that. If y'all y'all don't really do y'all really want to get into that the whole sexuality yeah. aspect of it because it's kind of ooh. Next question. Yeah, go ahead. My virgin ears. Um. Oh lord, I can already imagine your answer. Oh. Uh, At what age do you think is a good age to start transitioning to get hormone shots? Because what if your child comes to you and say they no longer want to be a male or a female and what and want to be the opposite sex? Once they start transitioning, can't they can't turn back, right? Yeah, um ooh. Why you said that? <laughs> anyway, um uh uh. No, I I, I I couldn't. I mean if I had a child, because y'all you y'all know I don't do churn. Y'all know that, right? I don't do churn. But if I had one, I would be, it would be, um, no, you can't do that until you become, you got, they got the turn 18. It don't have to do nothing to do with um, me not accepting them or me not believing that that's what they want to do. But, but see, I think they use the word transitioning. Transitioning means they start taking hormones, they start getting their bodies together to become a girl. If you know and your child went through the proper channels for that, I would say they would start the hormones when they start well, what puberty. What is the proper channels because for puberty that? Would at, be, a, at a young age, such a young age. They have to see a therapist. They have to go through the same thing that an adult would do. Yeah, but I mean, after from, all that, from, I mean, hormones. If, if somebody a, in puberty, because they would need to start changing at a young age. Yes, because it would stop their body from developing the proper way and develop the way that they feel they belong. Yeah, but do you believe that? Do you feel that? I mean, if you had a child and they came to you and if they I said, had a child, a child is not. Good. First of all, if you know your kid, you know what's up. First There's of all, no I ain't got no dog on money to be spending your and you no son, hormone shots and all that can on and stuff. Is you have serious. to wait you turn 18 and get you a job First and pay all, for that yourself. You don't even have to do it. They can go get Medicaid and Medicaid pays for all of that now. Medicaid will pay for pay for pay a tits. So they pay for sex changes now. Medicaid pays for sex changes. Medicaid they pays do? for tits. Yes, they do. And they pay for all their hormones. I just think that's too young. I mean, it don't have nothing to do with accepting them or them wanting to be what they want to be. I mean, you can tell. You is one thing if you got a little rough boy running around playing football on his own, not because he was forced, but on his own and playing with trucks and cars and Marvel figures and DC figures. And he's come say, Mommy, you know, I think I want to be a girl today. Mm. No, that's not a transitioning child. Mm -mm. A transitioning child is that little boy that sits there and plays with the Barbies all day and prances around the house and starts saying, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. You know when you're child... But you got the rough dudes, too, that... that. They, but they figure it out later on. Yeah, yeah. These little boys that are saying that I want to be... I want to be a girl, and these little girls saying, I want to be boys, they know what they feel inside. I'm just looking at the medical side of it all. And well, then I'm I looking at, at being six a child. years old, I wouldn't say give them hormones because at six no, years old. No, hell no. They still. You're not at 16, go, not at 17. Yes, when they go through puberty because it would stop their natural puberty from happening and start with yeah, the but puberty. Medically, if it, okay, if it was medically safe, then yes, I wouldn't have no problem with it. But I'm not paying no money for you to get hips and 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 and, and, and implants and carrying on in Christmas. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not doing that well, as a parent. No. Most of them were happy with breast removal or getting a pair of breasts and Medicaid pays for all of that now. Wow. What a country. Hey, 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 what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It's, it, ooh. 
that's kind of um, deep. What? It is. That's kind of deep. Well, I get it, but it's at the same time, it's 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 real, and they're only all now saying it because of the times we live in. Yeah, we live in a totally different time. Totally different time. And, you know, I know people hear you talk about back in the day and, you know, you. but I'm telling you, the times that we are living is a total 360. It's like going into a time machine with the way, with, with, with the day and age that I grew up in versus now, oh, never. Never would have. Mm mm. This. Mm mm. Totally different. Happen. Yeah, it's a different day and age, which is a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I think we we just have have to figure it out, and we have to give our families time to figure it out too. Um. Um. Because. Uh, it ain't easy being green. It's not. It's not easy being green. Because now, everything is out in the open. Splat right there. Just splats right on you. Bam. Everybody. Mm. This is, this right here. Y'all, this is history. I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about this is historical. You'd have seen something like this back in 1980. You child, all would have been church, dragging. The church and would have been saying, Jesus, if child, they'd have had a prayer circle. Mm-hmm, with some oil. A prayer circle with some oil. Mm-hmm. Some oil to anoint. And put you under the pulpit. Shabbat. Bam! Shabbat. And, and it's, it's different. Everything is different now. You have to have an open mind these days otherwise you are going to be consumed with your own your own mess your own mess you do, what you what you don't like families families that don't accept just because you don't accept what you think you think that that's going to change a person and that's the thing about that I don't understand about families that don't accept the fact that you know that family member is gay or what have you what I don't understand is what do you think what do you think that's going to do what do you think it's going to do what do you think it's going to do mm -hmm. it's not going to change the person it's just going to make them hide what they're doing that's it or it's going to cause them to have a separate life Family life versus having their own life. You, you're not going to be. You're going to miss out on all of that. Some people don't care. Yes, yeah, some people don't care. But they need to move on. They need to learn how to accept. You have to learn how to accept. Just like they have to learn how to accept you, you have to learn how to accept them and what they, what, what, what they. Um, choice was. They made a choice. Y'all want me to say it again? They made a choice. Fuck them. Build your own, start your own traditions. That's what life is all about now. It's about setting trends for yourself and starting your own traditions and you know, life is not like it. Ain't no, ain't no June Cleavers in the world. If they are, hallelujah. But, I mean, there's no housewife. You know, it's everything is different. It's different now. You have to have an open mind about life, period. And you can't judge. You have to walk through life and try not to. I know it's not, not easy to do. But you have to try not to judge. You have to try not to judge because those that you love, you're going to miss out on their lives just because you don't accept the person that they are. And what they do. That ain't none of your darn business. Ain't none of your business. If well, we was... kiss in front of you and stuff like that, and we are affectionate, that's because that's the way life is now. 
That's what life is. You got to accept it. Both family members, friends who are against you and you as a person that's they against you got to accept that they're against you and you got to but you got to move on with your life. You got to do what you got you got to do what makes you happy. Stop allowing people that are not happy for you to make you to lose your for you to lose your happiness. Stop it. Stop it. It's not cute. Well, on that note, yeah, Joseph ready to go. Because you're know, you gonna watch this little show. This I'll little American Horror Story. Yeah, he probably fall asleep on it anyway. But um we gotta go. Don't forget, check us out on YouTube at the McCray King's Corner. Please, please, y'all. Stop playing. Don't play with my emotions. Don't play with my emotions. Go on. Listen. Listen. <coughs> Go on to YouTube. And hit the subscribe button, please. I know it's not a lot of content there. We just started. But subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And check us out on Twitter also and Instagram as well at the McCray Kings. And here on Facebook at the McCray Kings Corner. Please leave your questions and your comments and anything else that you'd like to leave. Yeah, the cash Um right, Andrea. <laughs> um just support a brother. Support the brothers. I got some good things coming up for y'all. Well, I got some stuff. I can't talk about it right now, but I'm working on some stuff. Joseph working on some stuff too. We got. Mm, I can't. I, I, mm, I just can't tell you about it. It's just some some good stuff going on, y'all. For the kings, yes, and for y'all too. Yeah. So. Um, that's all I have tonight. Why was somebody saying something about me? Because no. you know I can't see. Nobody was saying that oh, about okay, you. Okay, because I don't want to have to punch nobody in the face. So we have to punch nobody in the face. Uh, Andrea, we just got the logo, so you will have your shirt see, shortly. Why are you telling them all this stuff? No, y'all ain't. No, y'all ain't. Uh, y'all. She uh, well, said she want her shirt. Well, she'll get her shirt. You'll get it. Don't be asking questions. But anyway, don't worry. We have to punch you in the face, Andrea. I've had a bad day. Yeah, he did. He had a bad day. You know what them people are. Physically, Joseph, not Joseph. bad because of anybody else. So um, I'm really, y'all know, I'll be more lively than this, and I'll be more. I'm into gonna have it. to go. I'm but have... I'm, I'm like doing it because this is what I do for you guys on Wednesday nights. Yeah. So regardless of however, it's the way it is. But you know, just. So y'all don't think that I'm doing what he said, just laying here looking he at myself. He feels like the camera loves him. He can't miss a he can't him. miss a photo op. See, look, trust. I told y'all, don't don't believe the hype. Don't believe that. He's a he's he's a phony, in a turncoat. Got my family members turned against you. Shout out to my to my daughter, Dion. Shout out to Omar. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We gone. We out. Team McCray. All day. <laughs> Did we do it right? <laughs> Turn the damn camera off. See, that's true. Get them, Lord. Get them. Get them, Lord.